Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create a board view on a Microsoft list. Uh, let me show you what I mean by this. So uh, when you create a new list uh, on a SharePoint site, for example, or within the Microsoft uh, list application, uh, your list by default looks more like a table, right? Rows and columns of information. So here, for example, I have this project list with uh, uh, different types of information like, you know, start and end dates and who is the project manager and the status and so on. However, you can actually create other views of the same list. Um, in my, uh, on my YouTube channel, uh, a little bit earlier, I recorded um, a few other views like a calendar view, but what I would like to show you today is uh, another type of view called board view. And just to show you what it looks like, I already created one, but I'll walk you through uh, on how to create one um, in a second, but essentially it resembles uh, this, you know, kind of planner style board view. So if you recall, we of course have this, uh, you know, Microsoft planner application, which allows you to create tasks and organize them uh, into uh, those different buckets and essentially have, uh, it, it looks like more like a board of tasks. Well, guess what? We can do the same with the list. Uh, let me actually walk you through how to do that. So one thing I want to clarify before I show it to you uh, is that when you create this board view, you have to group by a certain column. So in my case, I decided to group by, you know, uh, you know, organize my buckets, if you will, by status of the project, active or closed and so on. So let me show you how to do that. So um, when you create a brand new list, it, uh, the only view you get is this um, list view, but we are going to create another view. All you have to do is just click this all items uh, drop down, create new view, and I'm going to um, create, because I already have one, I'm just going to give it an alternate name, and I'm going to choose the type of view I'm going to create, board, and remember how I said you have to choose a column that you're going to group by. So it gives you a few choices of how you can organize the information. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm going to utilize once again the status column. And once again, we by default, the view will be public just like any other view, but uh, you can make it your own view by checking the box, all right? And then all you need to do is just click create. And essentially this is it, all right? Uh, this is the view that is uh, created. And what's cool about this particular view is that you can actually change the metadata, uh, essentially change the values just by drag and drop, right? Uh, if you recall, if you want to change some of these values, you have to pretty much, you know, change the metadata for uh, the status, for example, from one to another. Uh, when you are in a board view, uh, all you need to do is just drag and drop. So for example, let's just say this uh, you know, project was completed, all you have to do is just drag and drop and you will notice that the status will change from active to closed when I do that. All right, just like that, all right? Uh, you see here it is. Uh, essentially, now the status has adjusted just by drag and drop. Uh, now, let me show you one other thing that's really cool about this uh, board view. Uh, so by default, when you create a board view, it actually creates this, you know, this buckets, and then it also creates this card with a bit of information, but you can customize the look and feel of this card. Let me show you how. Uh, in the drop dropdown, uh, when, once you're in the board view, just choose customize card. And you can actually, uh, essentially, you can um, decide what kind of information you want on the card. So for example, you know what, I also want to add those date fields as well, or maybe I don't want them, uh, but you know what, maybe I want um, essentially the status to be on top of the card, just like that. So you can pretty much uh, drag and drop items um, and, you know, and uh, essentially move them up or down, uh, check on, check the boxes. Uh, it, it actually works uh, quite nicely with the image. If you uh, were to create like an, a column, um, you know, with an image uh, for your list, um, the image, and maybe you decide to put the image uh, up top, it actually will take the, the like a, a large top portion of the card and it will make it uh, look uh, much, uh, much prettier, all right? 
Uh, but uh, this is pretty much it. Um, you know, quite easy to create and uh, just another view if you are maybe uh, utilizing your list, maybe it's some sort of checklist or maybe uh, you're using it even um, as more of a task list on a project. Uh, now you can pretty much uh, convert your list, if you will, uh, to almost like a planner, uh, you know, board uh, just by creating this board view. All right, so uh, that's all I really wanted to show you in this quick video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, uh, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.